Do you remember your first year in the classroom? Oh, yes. Do you? Yeah. What stands out? The fact that I had to wrestle with a young student. We actually had to wrestle in class because they, he wanted to take over class, and I was about as young as he was right. because he was a veteran at that time. And so I had to show him who was enough man. So since that wow. time, I established myself. Well, the other students came and separated us, but, you know, you don't push this guy around even though he looks like a boy, you know. <laughs> a recycled teenager again, yes. yeah. But since yeah. then, I've expanded. So. <laughs> There's some big teenagers. You know days. the definition of yeah. an adult anyway. An adult oh, yeah. is the one who stops growing at each end and stops growing in the middle. So, <laughs> so that was a vivid memory of your That's first a vivid year. Memory. Yeah. Once we established that and they saw the sincerity, we're right. not here to play, we're not here to goof around you. Right. You're here to learn. And we developed, we thought, one of the best bands in the whole area. In mm -hmm. South Carolina, I've got several awards to that effect. And, and that was not a brag point. It's just proven to students what they can do. Right. And from there, we have other professional musicians. Sure. Along with uh, many uh, students who are teaching music. Oh. And, well, not only in the music, but lawyers, right. doctors. Right have come out of that night and just have, well. Folks yeah. that came through the band programs, right. right. Indian Chiefs and everything else. Indian Chiefs too? <laughs> Son of a gun. <laughs> well, you have covered a lot more bases than I thought. Oh, it's yeah. been a wonderful, it's been, just been wonderful living, you know. You highlighted early this morning there was a point when you were leading not only one band, not only two bands, but at one point up to three bands throughout the county as they were, you were wearing a lot of hats. What was that like? My whole, uh, Korea has been here, except I spent some time with the governor's school in uh, Greenville. I spent right. uh, about eight years with them as an administrator, but my main per program was here in Horry County. Mm -hmm. When a band director would leave the school for whatever reasons, right. service or just being fired or something, the program had to go on, so they would call me and ask me for a few hours. And So up in Green Sea and I remember uh, Chestnut High School, these some old high school. Right. Anyway, it was time for Christmas, so the kids have to ha be in the parade. Oh, yeah, yeah. So all three of them were ready to go in the parade, and there I was. Now, which band do you stand with, Leslie? Yeah. Because you were the band director of all three of them at this time. I just went on the corner and said, kids, you've been trained now. Do it. And they carried on. And they did. Yes. And they did. That was quite a, a time. It was a good memory, that's beautiful memory. That's tremendous. That's tremendous. Well, I hate to say it, time is blowing by, and I want to make sure we have a chance to talk about the Scout Reach Please. program. Yes. You opened up with both bad gangs and good gangs, and the Boy Scouts are trying to do something to make a difference. Let's don't criticize. Uh, we, we have some troubles in our community, and mm -hmm. it, really they're getting worse. We're getting um, some of the national gangs coming into our community, Crips and Bloods and... Uh, are they, they they're showing wannabe. up here and over? They are wannabes at this time. <clears throat> Not quite as vicious as they are full scale. But if we sit back and let it happen, we're going to be uh, run over with them, seriously. Because mm -hmm. the kids, we're not providing enough e re recreation or even attention to mm -hmm. uh, bands and whatnot that we used to have, uh, football and that kind of thing. But we want to provide a game. Kids need to have association. Mm -hmm. They like uniforms. They like to make little funny signs. Mm -hmm. They like to, so they do that with the game. They feel as if it's part of a family. Why can't we do it for a good game? Right. And the best I can see as of now, it would be our scouting program. Mm -hmm. There is a program in the scouting program, and I'm on the executive board. So, so were you at one I, time? One time, yes. Yeah, and I'm still on the executive board. Lesson. Yes, yeah. I know. You give a lot of time to scouting. And so we starting, well, it's nothing new, it's just we want to emphasize right. the Scout Reach program, which deal with urban kids and the kids who don't, so we can put it anyway. They don't even have to wear the Scout uniform if they don't want to. Mm -hmm. But we want to keep those values going. We want to be able to take them out in the woods. We want to take them on educational trips. So we are trying to do that. And so I'm going to ask the community to help me with Scout Reach program. Mm -hmm. If you want to make a donation or something, just put on the bottoms for scout reach and okay. just send it to the uh, headquarters. And they're and in Florence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in Florence, uh, PD Area Council. Right. On the Coit Street, sure. Yes. And um, I need some help because I want to go to a national training out in Philmont at Camp.
Philmont uh, out in New Mexico. Okay. And that's going to cost some money, which, you know, I do all these things, but, you know, sometimes I don't have enough personal sure. money really yeah. on a retirement income to go to that uh, and uh, bring back the latest of information, the Good. latest trends, so that we can motivate our community. And this is a giving community. Always. Oh, yeah. I'm on the United Way, and I mean, we just meet right. with our goals. And um, so if it's legitimate, right. and what is more legitimate than trying to help our youth mm -hmm. and to keep all this bad stuff out mm -hmm. all around our colleges, it really makes me cringe. And how will you all reach in to find the kids who may be borderline, stepping into the wrong, the wrong uh, gangs there and not the right gang? Well, that's my ministry mm -hmm. I, in the highways and the byways. I don't mind going in any area in this county. Really? There's really? no place I'm afraid of. I plan to do it from the pulpit. I'm an ordained minister. That's right. I'm sorry we haven't. I opened up as the Reverend Leslie McIver, mm -hmm. obviously. And, uh, of the United Methodist Church. I'm an ordained, fully ordained. Mm -hmm. and, but my mission on earth and my ministry is to deal with people and make my own ministry, which mm -hmm. means that I... I don't prescribe to a pulpit, just one one place, but mm -hmm. all out here. I will find the kids if I have the resources, have a little gas money, <laughs> right? and that kind of thing. I'll go out and find them. Viewers who want to help make sure you get out to Philmont can send something with your name on it up to the PD Area Council PDRA there Council, yes. on Coit Street, or they can call them and find a way. Right. I'm sure there's a lot of different ways to make donations. Make sure someone goes out to represent this community. We're not just talking about O'Ree, the, uh, the uh, 10 other Right. PD area counties that you're talking Marion about. Marion is where we right. want to start. Ori, then Marion. Can't leave them home county no. out, but Ori, Marion, right. then probably Clarendon, and some other counties that really need this because of the situation of our right. times. Now. Right, right. Or they can contact me directly, you know. Okay. The, uh, and I'll make sure that everything is legitimate. Absolutely, everything of course. With our That's right. City of character program with uh, the scout program and right sure else I do the ministries absolutely in in uh, not being afraid of any part of the county or any part of virtually any counties right. getting in there to make sure children have a chance to see the right way and we can save some of them we save two or three then we've done a yeoman's right. job because right. a lot of them are just going <clears throat> on the paths of destruction pick up the paper read it your paper the Herald. You don't read much of that in the Myrtle Beach Herald, i got to admit. You're not seeing uh, much of that news in the Myrtle Beach Herald, but it, 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 oftentimes we should show more of the negativity that is actually occurring. Well, you know, um, the other paper. Right. We'll, we'll, we'll Surely we'll some the, papers the balance, give enough. Yeah. That's right. They'll balance out all the good news. Well, I'm glad the, of that. Uh, in the know, Herald. That's the right. One that uh, we can look forward to. Yeah, Leslie, well, we just got a couple of minutes. And as you think, of course, all your time involved in Scout Reach, your ministry that's not necessarily from the pulpit, but in the community as an ordained minister. So God is surely a central piece in your life. When did you recognize that Christ was the center of your life? You know, as I went through the ordination process, mm -hmm. and that is with psychiatrists and everything else, when United Methodist Church is a very strict church as far as its ministers, right. I found out that I was a minister when I was a band director. Is that right? In the, in the period of discovery, or in the period of discernment. Right, right. Because, you know, I would always tell my children, don't do what I say to you. Watch me. Right. If I'm doing something, if I'm using bad language or whatnot, you can use it. But until you hear me, then you have no right. Good for you, Leslie. And I mean, and I that was, a lot of parents don't do that. They really should. I mean, that is the right oh. thing because what a great uh, holding yourself accountable. Right. And, you uh, watch me. Yeah. yeah. And if you find me drinking or something like right. that, then you, you do the same thing. I can't say a word to you. Good for you, but Leslie. Until that time. Now that's something where more parents should really step out and think about Until that, that time. Mm -hmm. And my four kids came up personally with that in their mind. So, where are your four kids right now, Leslie? Well, uh, I think you know one of them, Kenneth, sure, who of had been working with Burris and Chapin for a long trying time, trying to help with uh, Atlantic Beach, um, and That's so true. he's doing his freelance stuff now, but still going to be around this area because he likes it. Too. He lives on Atlantic Beach. Keith, uh, the twin, right, is in Columbia. He's running a college at the naval base in Charleston. Is he's that the right? Director of that. Oh boy. Leslie Jr. is a senior vice president at Bank of America in Charlotte, North Carolina. Is that Florida's right? Dinner. I don't think I knew that. Yeah. My daughter Pamela is with uh, People's Underwriters with 
that student of mine who just left is Frank Thompson. Right. Well, he right. was so close to me. Right. Him. Right. But she's working with there and carrying carrying on the, the banner. Two in Ore, one in uh, the Midlands, and one in the Charlotte area. Right. That's tremendous. Got him out of New York. Got him out of Atlanta. So I'm going to try to bring him on. Brought him to the to, Carolinas. I'm yeah. I'm going to try to bring him on into Conway to take over some of the leadership and some of the things that we get started. That's tremendous, so Leslie. And, and, and what do you think really keeps you focused and keeps you uh, looking forward? You've got to stay active. You, you will dry up. You will wither away. I go to the fitness center. Mm -hmm. I think positive. Mm -hmm. I like the alternative medicines in some cases. Mm -hmm. And being around people like you mm -hmm. and staying with those children, I will be back out of high school shortly. Mm -hmm. That keeps you youth. It keeps your blood running. And thinking positive. And may I say, love the Lord. You may? Yes. Absolutely. Um, that, that is my spirituality. is so strong. Mm -hmm. I just love people. Those and I say that's a bad disease that I have. I go in and make sermons or something and say, I tell people in a minute, I have a bad disease. And people <gasps> stay back yeah. until I think. I have an insatiable disease. I love people to death. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then they calm down. It shows, Leslie. Thanks so much for being with us this morning. Sorry we've run out of time. Be good, bad, glad to come back again. <laughs> we'll make that happen. Absolutely. When you get back from Philmont, stay tuned to more Carolina people with the Reverend Leslie McIver, Sr., coming up next. What is character? Think about that. What is character? If you've sat here the last 25 minutes, you've seen it personified in the Reverend Leslie McIver. If you were in the Horry County school system the last 40 plus years, you saw it personified in the Reverend Leslie McIver. If you attended a Boy Scout meeting or a pep rally for the Scouts, you saw it personified in the Rev Reverend Leslie McIver. Easy phone number 843 248 2840. 248 2840. If you want to help to make sure. The P.D. Area Council has a representative out at Philmont. Pick up the phone, 843-248-2840. If you want to help make sure more communities in Horry County and throughout the area get good cities and co towns and communities of character, 843-248-2840. If you want to meet the Lord, take the time to pick up the phone, 843-248-2840. Reverend Leslie McIver, thanks so much for being with us this morning and for showing great character. My pleasure. Thank you.